Please listen carefully. Hi, I'm Lonnie Jolie, and I'm the owner of the Clinton Street Theater, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. First of all, it's turning 100 years this year. The building went up in 1913, and from the very beginning, the Clinton Street Theater was built to be a moving picture house. It was independently owned and operated back in 1914, and it still is today. And that's quite a feat given the fact that so many theaters are torn down or converted to other uses or torn into multiple screens. But we're still an independent art house showing the best in, in indie films available today. My husband Roger and I bought the theater two years ago. And from the very beginning, we wanted to focus on truly independent work. They share a story from a new perspective, a unique voice. We do a lot of documentaries, a lot of different kinds of genres, foreign films. But the running theme through everything that we do is independent. In the last year alone, we had over 65 different films where I worked directly with the filmmaker. And of those 65 films, we had over 30 of those filmmakers here in the theater to do a Q&A after the screening. What's been really great for me as the owner of this independent theater is that I've been able to let my liberal freak flag fly. We have an ongoing film series with, in other words, Feminist Community Center and Bookstore called Real Feminism. We have an ongoing series with KBU Community Radio Station. In the last year, I helped local nonprofits raise over $20,000 for their organizations and the work that they do. Being one single person, I can't go out and change the world in all these different areas, but in my venue, I can provide a place where these communities come together and they can raise funds and they can create awareness for their organization and we can together build a better world. So although the theater has primarily been a place for film, we've also found that there's been a real need for community building in terms of live art. So over the past year, we started a partnership with Monkey with a Hat on Productions, so we have live theater. We had amazing modern dance with the Sub Rosa Dance Collective. We've had live music, burlesque, Jaws the Musical. So the theater is opening itself up to a lot of different uses, and it's truly becoming a great community space. When we bought the theater two years ago, we had one working speaker and pretty much everything else sucked. But since then, we've been able to install all new speakers, surround sound. We have a new digital sound processor, new digital projection system. We've enhanced our 35 millimeter projector and we've installed a new screen. We've put some work into the physical plant itself. I mean, the building is 100 years old, so it needs a lot of love. We've done lots of cleaning. We have carried out decades and, and truckloads of, of trash that was hidden all over the place. We've steam cleaned the carpets. We've installed some new seats. We've painted. There's still so much more that we want to do to make the Clint Street Theater the warm and welcoming place that we want it to be for our neighborhood and our community. The entryway needs renovating. The concession stand and lobby needs lots of work. We want to add more lighting for our live theater and musical events. In this back closet, we found some really cool stencils on the wall and on the ceiling, and we'd like to bring that back into the decor of the theater. That's where you come in. You can help us by donating any gift of any size to our Indiegogo campaign. We're going to use every penny that's given to us to make this a better place for independent filmmaking and for community events. We've got a lot of great perks listed, everything from movie passes to a pass to all of our anniversary events, to t-shirts like this one, to a lock-in, we're calling Night of the Living Dead. Anything you can do is greatly appreciated and will help us out a whole lot. Even if you can't give anything though, you can help us by promoting this campaign. You can find us at 100.cstpdx.com. And I hope I see all of you really soon at the Clinton Street Theater.